Hello guys, Matt here and welcome to another Football Manager 2014 video. Um, this is with Celtic. Um, I'm currently two years in, it's the 2nd of May. And um, yeah, basically I'm just going to update you on like the transfers and how we've done in all of the competitions that we've been in. And then after that I'm going to continue on from there and do probably three monthly updates or something like that. And uh, yeah, and update you every time. Uh yeah. So I'm gonna show you the transfers from the first year. Um we signed Didier Drogba on a free transfer and basically he scored twenty five goals and six assists in thirty games. And this year scored twenty eight goals and twelve assists in thirty five games. So basically he is insanely good. I can't even believe I got him on a free transfer, he's amazing. Um also then we have uh Emil Heskey who um Played eight, we signed him on free transfer and he played 18 games, got 3 goals and 3 assists. It was just a bit of a joke signing because, I don't know, it was available. So I just thought, whatever, sign him up. Uh, he now plays for Oldham, which uh, obviously means he was released because I didn't need him. <coughs> Sorry about that. Manuel Almunia, we also signed on a free. He got 6 clean sheets in 8 games. But um, he's... The third best keeper now, and Fraser Forster is just the keeper. Um, well, he, yeah, he's the number one keeper, and he will be for years to come. Um, Irini was signed from Watford for 155k. Uh, played 22 games in total in two seasons, scored one goal. He's not the best player, but I do use him usually as backup. Matt Partridge will be signed for 1.8 million from Dagenham and Redbridge. He's a uh, He's played really well uh, this season. Not so well last season. Um, yeah, not so well last season. Um, as a 6.62 rating, uh, which we ended up loaning him out to Hearts, um, where he got a 6.79 rating, improving. And this season, he's played quite well with a 7 average rating. And he is our. Well, he's quite down the pecking order in our uh, our team, but yeah, he's a, he's a really decent player. And as you can see here, I'll just um, show you the most notable ones. Anthony Stokes we sold for 900k to Not Nottingham Forest. Uh, he really hasn't. He didn't. He didn't play well in the first season, and he hasn't played well this season either. So I think that's quite a good transfer. Um, uh, Patrick Twardzik, uh sold for 5.5k to RB Leipzig. Um, and basically, he played really well in the first season, scoring 12 goals and getting 6 assists. And um, in the second, he's kind of dropped off a bit. But yeah, he's still playing decent. Uh, also, we learned out Lucas Zaluska, who uh, has now been let go. Um, yeah, we learned him out to Freiburg, and he played one game, got two conceded, and got a 5.5 average rating. He's now at Gillingham, um, as I said before. Uh, yeah, that's that's it for that season. This season, we signed Mike Crane on a free transfer, who's going to probably be our starting goalkeeper in probably about four or five years, if I play that long. Um, Remy Cabea is just, an, he's just God. <laughs> he's amazing. 22 games, 7 goals and 16 assists. And in all competitions, 33 games, 11 goals and 25 assists. He's just an assist machine. He's amazing. I love him, man. And uh, 8.5 million worth every penny. Uh, we also got Will Keane on loan from Man United as a backup striker. He scored one goal in the five games. Tom Rendell, uh, a re another regen like Mike Crane. And uh, yeah, he's just he's probably going to be our left back in the future. Yeah, he's a decent player. He's got some nice stats. Well, they're all right. Um... Jerome, Jerome Binham Williams, uh, I really like this guy, uh, he, he played 12 games overall for us, scoring one goal and got 7.33 average rating, so I might I might try to get him back on loan or possibly even buy him, but I don't have too much money. Kenneth O'Maruo, he's now on loan at Anderlecht, he played really decent for us again um in all competitions played 21 games got four goals and a 7.28 average rating which is really really nice to see so 
unfortunately I won't be able to get him back on loan. I probably won't be able to afford to buy him anytime soon. Uh Stuart Armstrong, uh are uh, like well he he played he played most of the games. Uh, um right attack in mid or left attack in mid. And uh, he got ten goals and five assists in thirty six games, which there's nothing to complain about. He could have done better, but um obviously Remy Cabeas just had an amazing season. Uh Ryan Bennett uh we signed for five million uh as who to replace someone who uh I will show you in a minute. Uh yeah, he got one assist and uh in twenty five games and got seven point zero one average rating, so I'm really pleased with that. Uh and he was to replace Virgil van Dijk who um I sold for ten million just because I thought um you know <laughs> ten million is ten million. So yeah and also near Beaton I sold for three point five million to no three point eight million to Juventus and I brought in Bruno Zuccolini who's had a fantastic season. Um yeah and he's a really nice uh player. He's got uh, some good stats and in thirty three games he got one goal and four assists and a seven point ten average rating. So I'm really pleased with this signing. Uh Colo Torre a backup centre back. He's played six games, uh got one assist and seven point twelve average rating. Christian Atsu, a very nice player. Um he's got one goal and two assists in twelve games with a seven point zero three average rating. John Egan, uh yeah, he has the potential to be a good player for a Scottish Premier League side, but I'm probably just gonna sell him on because it was a bit of a poor signing but I don't really care. Richard Dunn for nineteen K. It it's um it was an okay signing. I reckon I could make more on it now, so it, it's alright to be honest. Um Lucas Hinter Hinterseer, uh, a decent play. Uh he got two goals and three assists in nine games. And in all competition he got three goals and four assists, uh with nine games with five substitute appearances. Then Gail Kakuta, a very good player. Um he has the potential to be a really, really decent player. Um, in all competitions, he got uh, one goal and two assists in four games. But in the league, he really hasn't done that well. Uh, also, as you can see here, we sold Timu Puki for 1.4 million, Emilio and Emilio Izaguerri for 3.3. 3. And as you can see here, he had a fantastic season with us. So it was a shame to let him go, but... Yeah, uh, I had to really. Tony Watts. Um, well, as you can see here, uh, he scored six goals in six games and got two assists for Kilmarnock. And they were in my league and they were above me. So I was like, yeah, I'm recalling him. So I recalled him and loaned him out to Leeds where he's not done as well. But it it's about, I don't know, it's about the same level. But there's a lot more uh, competition. Tom Rogic sold for two... 130k to Al Fateh, I believe, who are in Saudi Arabian League. Uh, Stefan Johansson. Um, uh, I don't know how to feel about this uh, sellage. So yeah, because um, he's a really good player, but uh, yeah, we have we have missed him in our midfield. But uh, I reckon I reckon it was uh, it was the right move to make because four millions is a lot of money for this. Obviously we have zero right here. at home. John Guidetti is coming in and if you look at his report here he'll be our second best striker and he'll replace Didier Drogba because as you may have seen before he is 37 so uh, that's uh, not too good is it. Uh, right last season what we're gonna do is show you I'm gonna show you the the cop we uh, won the League Cup by beating Queen's Park 3-1, Dundee United 3-2, Aberdeen 1-0 and St. Johnston 2-1. Um, the Scottish Cup, uh, we drew to all with Rangers and then beat them 2-0 in the replay. Beat Livingston 5-0, Inverness 3-0, St. Mirren 3-0. And then there was this absolutely insane game. We destroyed them on shots, um, Kilmarnock on shots and uh, unfortunately they like battered us on possession and it was 1918 to them penalties I mean when do you see that happen 
a bunch of players took two penalties. I mean, I've never seen that before. And unfortunately, we lost. But that was just an insane game. I was sat there for ages just going, when is someone going to miss? <laughs> um, in the champ oh, Champions League, we um, beat Kaj Ka Kalju 9-1 on aggregate. Uh, beat Mould 7-3 and then unfortunately lost 3-2 to Maccabi Tel Aviv um, which was really unfortunate but that did put us into the Europa League which in our group we had Zenit, National de Madeira and Slovan Liberec. Uh we managed to get through that group in first place with 13 points I believe and in the Europa Cup first knockout round uh, we beat Ruben Kazan 4-1 and then beat Fenerbahce on away goals. We then went to Chelsea and destroyed them 4-1 with Chris Commons getting two, Stefan Johansson and Scott Brown getting the others. And then unfortunately went to Chelsea and lost 3-0. I was so disappointed because if we'd have beat Chelsea that would have been a great achievement. And I'll show you in the league, obviously uh, this season you can see we won the league and last season. Um, we have got a few games left to go, I believe, yeah. We've got three games left to go in the league, though. Uh, but it's been tied up um, a while ago because it's impossible for them to get anywhere near us. So, uh, yeah, last season, 38 games played, 128, drawn 8 and lost 2, 92 points. Um, yeah, and I'll show you this season's fixtures. Obviously, we haven't finished, but, yeah. <laughs> uh I I uh, I did a British Cup, which I put Leith, and then I put Chelsea in. We actually beat Chelsea. I know it was on penalties, but it was quite a quite a big achievement for me. In the Scottish Cup, uh, we beat Wick Academy three 0 but then lost one 0 to Inverness, which was really poor. But then in the League Cup, again we won uh, two beat Air uh, two 0 Hearts four two Aberdeen three two, and Saint Johnson four 0 which I believe. That may have been the case last year with St. Johnston in the League Cup final. Yeah, it was. And Aberdeen in the semis. Wow, that's weird. Okay. Um, yeah, in the Champions League, we managed to beat Bangor City 9 0 on aggregate. Zelid. Zeligesnikar 10 0. Red Star Belgrade 5 2. We then drew the group. Of um, Chelsea, Ajax, us, and Milan, which was a really hard group. We managed to beat Milan one 0 which I thought, oh well, this may be a good, this might be good for us. Um, we then lost to Chelsea three two, lost to Ajax one 0 then drew nil nil with Ajax, drew two all with um, AC Milan, then beat Chelsea three nil, which was a really nice result, and we had someone sent off. But then that may that meant, as you can see here. That we went into the Europa League. And we got destroyed by Benfica. 6-3 on aggregate. Was it 6-3? Yeah, 6-3 on aggregate. Away, we got battered 5-2. Um, I would say deservedly, but it's not really. I mean, they did. They beat us on everything, really. But I don't think we got. Uh, we deserve to be beat by that amount. We, th uh, we then... Uh, Drew one all at home and uh, got knocked out. And we have three games left. Yeah, three games. Oh. Needs to go under the Scottish Premiership. Uh, Rangers, Hamilton and Dundee United. Very easy games. Um, yeah, even if Rangers win all three of their remaining games, they will, and we lose all of them, they will still be ten points behind us. So... We're in a really solid position. I'm expecting us to win the league every year. It's just we're trying to progress into the Champions League and get some better players. But I'll show you some of the, some of the starters uh, in our team. Here we have Fraser Forster, one of my favourite players. He's actually in real life now signed for Southampton for £10 million, which I think is a really decent signing. Some people have been saying that it's a bit overpriced, but I think it's a really, really good signing and definitely what they needed. Because they need a quality keeper like him. And um, for us, you got 18 clean sheets in 33 games and conceded 17. You know you got a good keeper when he concedes less. Uh, yeah, he gets more clean sheets than he's conceded. 
And this year, he upped his game even more. He played two more games, but he got 21 clean sheets. He did concede 23 goals, but I let him off because he was fantastic. Um, who else? Let me see. Oh, Aidan Mac McElduff. Uh, he is our joint best left back and has played 10 games this season uh, with a 7.32 average rating. I didn't even realise we had him. I just discovered him in the... Uh, uh, under 18s I was like what bring him up uh, Liam Henderson another player that I just discovered uh, and he's played four games got one goal and got a 7.25 average rating so I'm really pleased with that Chris Commons uh, performed really well the first season got nine goals and nine assists this season he's dropped off a bit but in uh, continental and cup competitions he's played really well in the Champions League he got five goals and three assists in eight games which is fantastic um, Adam Matthews has played decently well first season, 7.12 average rate in second, 7.24. Charlie Mulgrew, last season, uh, 29 games, 3 goals, 4 assists, 7.06 average rate in this season. 23 games, 3, assists, three goals and 2 assists with 7.27 average rate, so that's really nice to see. Remy Cabez is unfortunately injured for 11 days. To two to three weeks, so I don't know when he's gonna get back from injury. Uh, Lee Griffiths hasn't played very well for us. Anyone else? Scott Brown, he's played pretty well. Seven point fourteen average rating, both years, getting a five goals and four assists in his first season, which is really nice. And Dirk Boerigda, who I don't give enough credit to, but he is a decent player. Um, Twenty-one appearances, four goals and five assists, not bad at all. Uh, the first year he got eight assists, which is quite nice to see. Yeah, and I'd say the player of the season's obviously been Drogba because he's fantastic. I'll show you the player, the player stats. Drogba, top scorer, twenty-eight goals, highest average rating. We've got four out of the five players there. Games won, uh, we have all of the players. Uh, 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 assist. Remy Cabeau with 16, Drogba with 12, fantastic. Player of the match is Drogba, joint first, and Remy Cabeau fifth. And that's about it, the awards. Team, uh, FW Player of the Year, which uh, went to Chris Commons last year. Goal of the season uh, went to Kyle Jacobs. These were last year's, obviously. Player of the Months. Let's have a look at the Player of the Months. Remy Cabea. Uh, we got Drogba in there as well. Uh, Bruno Zucal. Wait, let me put this in order. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, see, look at that. In six games, he got six goals. Uh, you see, this is why I uh, uh, loaned him to Leeds. Uh, then we got Dirk Beauregard and FA Ambrose in second and third. I think we have had a person in every team in the. No, Player of the Month. And uh, Drogba in that one. Drogba and Remy Cabea went in at that time. Uh, we had two players in this time. Bruno Zuccolini and Charlie Mulgrew. Then we had Remy Cabea winning again with Drogba closely behind. Oh, this. We didn't have anyone in this one, actually. Oh, this one. Well, <laughs> just making up complete lies. Didier Drogba getting uh, the player of the month for March and April. Drogba came second again, and obviously there'll be a May one. I have yet to complete May. Um, team of the year for la for last year: uh, Fraser Forster and Cole is a queer at left back. Van Dijk, FA Ambrose, and uh, Mikael Lustig. Brown at right mid, which I don't really get. Uh, McGinn, Johansson, and Chris Commons, and Drogba and Thompson up front. So only two players weren't our our players, so that's pretty funny. Player of the season was Emilio Izaguer. That's and then we have three players in the contention for it. Why was Drogba not there? Player of the year. Oh yeah, Drogba. I forgot about that. Um, top goal scorer Drogba. Um, I'd about to say closely followed them, but they're ten goals off. Uh, under 19th player of the season, John Suta. Don't know who he is. Right as manager of the year, right as young player of the year, Stephen Lawless. Uh, young player of the month, 
Remy, uh, let, let's have a look. None of our players actually won it because we don't really have any young players. We're not really bothered about that. Young player of the season, Virgil van Dijk. Yeah, he is a very good. He did play really well. And young player of the year, John McGinn. Uh, he looks actually he looks pretty decent. Might have to get a scout report on him. Right then. So basically, next time I see you, I will have completed the season, um, and. It will be the 1st of September, so thanks for watching guys, please like, comment and subscribe, and see you later. Peace.